the formidable robot. This one specific tape, this one, this one tape from the Haunted Mansion tapes is the most heavily damaged. In 2009, the holiday tape was found in the attic in one of the suitcases of the ride. The tape was heavily damaged, both in the tape's reel and casing. Upon watching the tape, it felt like a nightmare with some glitching frames, and some disturbing moments. One small detail before starting. The people of Haunted Mansion Holiday replaced the dialogue for the Ghost Ghost. In this case, the voice is Corey Burden, who did a great job impersonating Paul Freese. The tape started with the grand opening of Haunted Mansion Holiday with everyone going inside. Everything seemed normal but something was off. The narrator sounded slightly distorted, as if the speakers were damaged. But it seemed fine as the narrator said the first piece of dialogue which goes something like this. Twas a long time ago, longer now than it seems. In a place that, perhaps, you have seen in your dreams. For the story that you are about to be told, began in the holiday worlds of old. I know you're curious to see what's inside. It's what happens when two holidays collide. Again, everything seemed fine. But that's when things took an unexpected turn. As people boarded the ride in the loading zone, one of the chandeliers suddenly fell on the ground and shattered into pieces. As everyone went through the ride, things again took a turn for the worst. It was reported that Doom Buggy number 15 went to a different passage. In the endless hallway scene, the car suddenly turns through the hallway. Multiple workers tried to stop the specific Doom Buggy, but at this point, the Doom Buggy turned in one of the doors and vanished through. That wasn't all, the graveyard was in construction at the time. So when the people entered the graveyard, there were construction sounds that accompanied the scary Christmas song. It was so bad that the workers had to crank up the atmosphere and the song to drown out the construction sounds. In what could be described as a weird pattern, all of the singing pumpkin busts fell over. Suddenly, the spiral mountain was pushed over, crashing into tombstones. What made it even worse was the beginning piece. It was reported that Jack Skellington, or Sandy Claus, was in the process of testing. His jaw kept smacking with each phrase. The only two he said were, Look Zero, I think they like our Christmas. And, Have you been naughty or nice? I like this Christmas thing. Finally, the tape ended with one last bit of dialogue from the Ghost Ghost. May Jack's ghostly presence now follow you home. And stay in your hearts, where you may roam. For now you know what happens when holidays meet. You might get a trick or a holiday treat. On July 20th, 2009, the tape, along with the other original Haunted Mansion tapes, were suddenly stolen by reported double agent. It turns out that the double agent was one of the workers of the Haunted Mansion, Parker Jessner, who was arrested for stealing property. As of so far in 2009, the Haunted Mansion holiday ride is fully completed. But what about the tapes? What makes it horrifying? With the reports of Haunted Mansion workers, interviews with WDI workers, and the production of Haunted Mansion Plus Holiday, the ride seemed to have gone smoothly but it's only if you look behind the scenes when things get a bit fuzzy. Now, what about the workers? Do they still work? Most of them left Disney, some of them have died, and a select few had gone psychotic due to the PTSD of the events unfolded in the Haunted Mansion. As much as the Haunted Mansion gets the credit it deserves, it's no wonder why people don't look at rides behind the scenes.